What's up everybody, this is Lomed. Um, this is my first YouTube video. I'm doing it at the um, behest of some people on my Instagram, IG Lomed Beats, check it out, uh, who said that they wanted to see kind of how my process was and how I made beats and everything like that. So I figured why not. Um, I've been making beats now for about, off and on, for about 10 years. Uh, I started after I inherited my dad's record collection I there was just literally sitting in the basement for years. I went down one day and I had a turntable and I had been DJing for a little while before that. So uh, I just decided to go through the records. There was just a bunch of, you know, fusion, jazz, funk, soul, rock, whatever, goofy stuff to, you know, old guy, boomer music. And uh, I just kind of went through, you know, and just found samples, found things that caught my ear. And uh, I was doing it on a computer at that point, just a really basic program called Acid Pro. And I learned how waveforms look, how, you know, filters, you know, the things that you can do. And um, just made really crude, rudimentary beats. Uh, took a break for a little while and then came back making beats, but this time on the vintage machine, the MPC 2000. And the reason I got the 2000 was I got a great, I got an insane deal on it. And it's one of the cheaper vintage machines that you can find. Doesn't have as many features as the XL. Uh, in my opinion, that makes it a little more challenging, which means when you go to things like the XL or you know you go to the Renaissance or whatever, you have a better understanding of how the basics work, and it just becomes a lot easier after you are chopping the beats yourself, and there's no auto chop, and there's no quantizing, and you know blah blah blah. So. I like working within those limitations because it makes me, it forces me to be more creative with my music. So anyway, um, making a beat. It's super easy. I've got my drums right here. This is all my drums and my breaks, my drum kit, you know, everything. This is all my drums. Load that up. And then I uh, want to select the sample that I want to use. Sometimes I'll start with the sample. Usually I'll start with the sample. So I'll take the record. I'll be listening to a record on my headphones or whatever. Not even wanting to make a beat. Just listening. Something will catch my ear. So I'll turn the MPC on. And then I'll get something like, I don't know, this. Dark kind of moody jazz on this one in this case. So I'm thinking, all right, so that's kind of cool. I was kind of in a dark shade of mind at that point. It was late at night, whatever. So, um, you know, I'll take it. And, you know, do the old NPC 2000 non-auto chop trick. Or, you know, I'll chop it up manually if it's something that's not, you know, entirely easy to do. So I'll take that, and usually I'll start with that. Um, I'll match, I'll beat match the break with it, so at least I get, you know, a... Uh, not perfect at all, but with the chops it'll sound better. So I'll do that, I'll get that going, and... Uh, Then I'll add some, um, usually I'll add some heavier drums on top of that. So with my drum kit, you know, I'll add that and I'll make a pattern that I think sounds good. And then, just after that, and last but not least, I'll usually add my cymbal, my hi-hats, my cymbals, whatever, and then I'll add the bass line, and...
or if I want to do any scratching, you know, with some uh, acapella tracks, you know, just to throw something in there to kind of give people an idea of how the lyrics are going to sound over it. I'll do that. And that's basically it. That's my process. It's not complicated at all. It's super easy. So anybody who wants to start doing it can absolutely start doing it. You just have to have a good ear and you have to have a good record collection. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You can do it. So anyway, that's me. I'm Lomed. Peace.